Welcome to the Strange History Channel, where we unravel the mysteries of the past. In this special feature for Fellowship, we delve into the Norman Conquest of 1066. The land of England was in turmoil. The ambitious William of Normandy, soon to be the conqueror, known for his love of order and uniformity, set his sights on conquering the kingdom. But little did the English know that William had a peculiar plan up his armoured sleeve. As William's forces descended upon England, he declared his intention to rename every man in the land as Norman. It was an audacious and downright strange plan, unlike anything the world had ever seen. A true Norman invasion. Imagine the confusion that swept across the English countryside. Men named Robert, Harold and Edward suddenly faced the prospect of becoming Norman. After the Battle of Hastings, the conquest of England was complete. Soon his renaming campaign began. Every male by law was required to be named Norman at birth. It was as if the land had been cast under a spell of uniform nomenclature. Legal documents were amended, birth certificates rewritten, and family trees redrawn. Generations to come would bear the name Norman, whether they liked it or not. The land echoed with cries of Norman, Norman, as parents begrudgingly christened their newborns. The streets were filled with Normans. Hey, Norman! Hello, Norman! Why, it's a pleasure to see you, Norman. Can you imagine the confusion that reigned over England? Today, as we walk the streets of England, we encounter echoes of that peculiar time. 99% of men in the country are still named Norman. Statues stand tall, commemorating the Normans that came before. The spirit of that era lives on, reminding us of the peculiar twists that history can take.